much power. What's up guys, Jimmy Chang here with Andrew, and today we have a special treat for you guys. This is the Dualtron Thunder, sent to us by Voro Motors, but it's not just any Dualtron, it's a special prototype, the only one in the world that they want us to test because it's got a special upgrade. It's the marriage between Dualtron and Ryan. So this is pretty much the Dualtron Thunder, just with Tronic controllers in it. You can control the acceleration curve and you can control the regenerative braking. So it should be much smoother, much more power delivery, and should be stronger. It's got the same 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery in it. Okay, so we've assembled it. Andrew took it out for just a sec and it was pretty incredible. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, I was trying to figure this whole thing out. I didn't know what was going on. But as soon as I went for just maybe 50 feet, I can immediately tell there's a huge difference. And it's too bad the camera wasn't rolling because he yelped like a little schoolgirl, and uh, you could tell he was having a lot of fun. But let's do a quick walkthrough of the Dualtron Thunder, and then we'll go take it for a test drive. If you've ever seen a Dualtron Thunder in the past, this is identical to it. It doesn't look anything different, except for it's missing the Mini Motors i3 display, and it has this extra switch added to it. They've also added a 3D printed curve on here. So a lot of times people have told me with the Ryan, you don't even need to use the brakes on it, even though it has Magura brakes, you just literally need to use the curve throttle and it'll slow you down. That's where it's supposed to really shine. Essentially, as soon as you roll off the throttle, it's supposed to slow you down and get great regenerative braking. So you also will gain power as you're braking. If you want to be able to see how fast you're going, your charge, different stats, then you're going to need to attach your phone on here. So we put on a nice little phone mount and then we've downloaded the app. The app is really slick, very nice. You can see it shows you the information that you need, very easy to read, very clear, very easy to use. The biggest difference in here is what's gonna be on the internal. So let's open that thing up. So that's amazing. That's where the Tronic controllers are, is down there. They're much smaller than the Mini Motors controllers. The Mini Motors controllers are a lot thicker. This is a lot thinner. Yeah, what's going on in there, Milo? Ultimate power, Milo. I'm sure that when they send out the production models, this will be super cleaned up. The Vest Tronic controllers do come with an app, so you can fully customize the acceleration curve of everything, the braking modulation. I'm pretty excited to test this thing out. Let's go ahead and put this back together. We're gonna get our safety gear on and then we're gonna try out this Dualtron electric scooter with some key Ryan components. Got it! <laughs> what does it feel like to ride a cross between the Dualtron and the Ryan? It's pretty incredible, these Tronic Controllers are ultra smooth, the sound is quiet, and the power delivery is pretty sweet. It's a little bit hard to control with this 3D printed Ryan curve, but I'm sure with the real Ryan curve, this thing would ride like a dream. It's definitely a prototype, so it's not perfect right now, but once they dialed this thing in, it's gonna be an absolute monster. Some of the main differences that you've noticed right away is it's smoother and there's more power delivery. I mean, what do you think of the thumb throttle in terms of the ergonomics and the comfort? It's gonna take a while to get used to. This is my first time ever trying it, but I know once I just get a hang of it, this is gonna be perfectly fine. It's just getting used to the little pivot points on the throttle. We're gonna check out to see how this prototype handles with a little speed run. Clear runway here. Andrew's up there. I'm just making sure that we're not getting any cross traffic. There's definitely something wrong with the 3D printed curves because sometimes it has that cutout. But even with me just slowly rolling on it, it's super quick, super smooth, got up to 45 miles per hour and it felt like I was at 20 miles per hour. That's the difference in the Tronic controllers. It's kind of like when you get in a really high powered, fast, smooth car, you'll go 60 and you're thinking you're going a lot slower. That's exactly what the Tronic controllers do to the scooter. If this is performing that well as a prototype and with this 3D printed Ryan curve, I'm super stoked for what this is gonna feel like with a real Ryan curve on here. All right, now it's my turn to give this piece a try. This Ryan thumb throttle is surprisingly easy to control. I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm jerking like I did with those Weeped scooters. It's so smooth and controlled and balanced. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, if this is what a scooter feels like with just a Ryan controller, I can't imagine what an entire Ryan scooter would feel like. We're always getting asked to review Ryan scooters. And the thing with Ryan scooters is they're hard to get just because there's such a long waiting list. They make them 
individually for the buyer and those handcrafted machines, they're not cheap as well. And so we've never tested Orion scooter. This is the closest we've come and this is a 3D printed version put onto a Dualtron scooter and it still impresses us. So we hope in the future, fingers crossed, folks at uh, Ryan, if you guys ever want us to test one of your scooters, I can send you my mailing address, all right? If you guys have any other questions about this scooter, leave them down in the comments below. If you found anything of value in this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it's the best way to support us. When you guys ride, remember to wear your safety gear.